Hello there students, welcome to another video tutorial. I'm Miss Ng here. Today I'd like to continue teaching you logarithm. Um, I do know a lot of students have problem with logarithm, okay, uh, especially from four students, they find it very confusing. Now let's have a quick recap of the basics of law of logarithm that I've taught you earlier uh, in the first video, yeah, the basics of logarithm. A quick recap is uh, the formula. Uh, first of all, you can have to make use of this formula, so I'm going to do a very quick recap, yeah? Log to the base of x, uh, if it is a times b, would mean that the log to the base of x, a plus log to the base of a, b. So when it is a multiplication, you can break it up into a plus, and vice versa, yeah? This works both ways. Please remember that in maths, you must know how to move forward and move backward. So another one would be, say, if it is divide. If it is divide, you can break it up into minus, right? So that's log base x minus uh, a minus log base x b. Now the third one, and this is really, really something that's very, very useful. Please get it inside your head. If you have a to the power of 2, whatever power that you have, yeah, together with the log, you can bring it forward to bring the power down, making it 2 times log base x a. And this is a very useful feature which you will see later as we continue to do our practices in logarithm. Okay, this one, this one, this one. In fact, they are all very crucial, but this one is the one that is used really, really a lot. Okay, now and some other basic information, a quick recap. Remember this, when the base and the number is the same, it is a 1. The, that, the same goes to log xx is a 1 log of a square root 2 with a square root 2 is also a 1. Please do remember this. Yeah? This is very useful in simplifying logarithm equations or questions. Alright, now the other one is this. Uh, log a1 would be 0. Log whatever 1 is 0. Okay, log 2 1 is 0. If you want to check it, then you have to know the other thing that is really really useful in logarithm. These are key skills, yeah, basic skills in doing logarithm questions. Alright, another basic skill, I'm going to write it here. There are four, yeah, one, two, three, four, okay. The other one is to convert logarithm to indices and vice versa. Let's say log 232 is equal to 5. How do I know log 232 is equal to 5? Because 32, if you will convert this to index, 32, the big number remains, the base of the log becomes the base of the index, and the answer equals to 5 becomes the power. So if you check it with your calculator, 2 to the power of 5 would equal to 32. So, so now again, why is this very useful? Students have to understand this, yeah. Why is this very useful? Because very often you are given a question in log and you are asked to solve it. It means that you have to think of some way to get rid of the log. How do you get rid of the log? By turning them into indices. So there's no more log. So you see there's a log 2 here. Now there's no more log. Everything is in numbers, which is perfect. Yeah, so this is an another crucial, crucial skill that you must have at the tips of your finger. If you forget how to change logarithm to indices, then you will not be able to, be able to answer a lot of questions. Okay, right, so four key skills, yeah. We'll do change of base later. Change of base is a more advanced skill, right? But these are the basic skills, okay? So now, coming back to this, understanding how this works. Log 2, 1 is 0. Why is it, why is it that? Convert this to index, huh? yeah. 1 is equal to the base of the log becomes the base of the index. 2 power 0. As you remember, uh, please don't do this, yeah. 2 power 0 is 0. A lot of students tell me this and I will smack them. <laughs> 2 power 0 is not 0. Whatever to the power of 0 is 1. If you check it with your calculator. Okay? Right. Uh, uh, so, now, the same thing goes for this. If you convert this, uh, square root 2 would equal to the base of the log becomes the base of the index and the power becomes power. So it makes perfect sense, isn't it? So I hope you're going to remember all this because we are going to proceed with answering some questions, okay? Let me get rid of all this writing first so that we can do uh, question A, B, and C. You may have a look at it and try to tackle it now as I uh, clear the board, <laughs> clear the virtual board. Right, so uh, there's no more reference, yeah? I'm rubbing off all these things. Uh, so hopefully you have copied them down or you do remember them. Okay, 
let's start. Now they say solve. The moment you see the word solve means you're supposed to find the unknown. Okay, or get find x. Lah. So in this case, log 4, 8 is equal to x. Like I said, the first thing you have to do is to get rid of the log by converting it to index. So copy the 8. The base of the log becomes the base of the index. Yeah? The base of the log is 4, so that becomes 4 okay, to the power of x. Now then, then a lot of students are stuck here. Remember when what you learned in Form 3. You learned that you, in order to solve the indices, in order to find what is x, you have to make the base the same. This is the base. Yeah? So 4 and 8 share a base. That is 2. Yeah? So 8 is 2 to the power of 3 is equals to 4 is 2 to the power of 2 and that's x out there so basically it means 2 cubed is equals to 2 to the power of 2x a bracket means times yeah here okay so now now that you have made the base the same therefore the indices are also equal so 3 is equals to 2x therefore x is equals to 3 over 2 and that's it this is normally a, just a two mark question or maybe you don't even get like this in SPM, it's too simple. <laughs> okay? Alright, but first, understand this, yeah? Step by step. Okay, now, let's move on to the next one, B. B says, now find X. So you see the X now is at a different place. Now, one very crucial thing, yeah? When you're doing math, right? It is very important that you learn to relate the questions and the type of questions. You know, make your brain think and relate the question. This is, this is the, this question, the X is at the base. This question, the X is here. Yeah, and another question, there's no x. See, look at the c here. So uh, the variables or the unknown can be all over the place. So it is up to you whether you know how to apply, then you can solve the equation. All right, so the same thing here, uh, get rid of the log. So 16 is equals to x is the base and 4 is the power. Okay, now again, the same principle applies, yeah? Make the base the same. In this case, the base is x, so you cannot make the base the same. If you cannot, then you make the indices the same. They work both ways. Understand, that means, right, if, um, if 2, 4, okay, let's continue here. 2, 4, this is 2 power 4, right? Is equals to x power 4. Somehow, I will have to make this the same. Now, the indices are the same. Therefore, the base of the indices will also be the same. So, x would equal to 2. Okay? So, it works both ways, yeah? Indices equals, base are equal, right? Now, how about this? Log 8, 1 over 64 equals to what? Okay, and uh, one way to do it is you put an x to it. Okay? So now, now you have an x, so you can convert to indices as usual. 1 over 64 is equal to 8 to the power of x. So now, make the base the same. So a lot of students do this here. Yeah? Please don't do this. They know this is 1 over 8 square equals to 8x. And then very conveniently, they will say x is equal to 2. Because they think it 1 over 8 and 8 is the same thing. 1 over 8 and 8 is really not the same thing, okay? So, <laughs> you can't do this. Now, what can you do in order to make the base 8? This base is not 8, you know, it's 1 over 8. So, bring the 2 up becomes a negative index. All these you have learned in Form 3. And I know a lot of students tell me in Form 3, the chapter they hate most is indices. And uh, yeah, it's indices. <laughs> okay, so 8 and 8, same base. So x is negative 2. Finish. Now, there are a, a few other questions uh, that will use the basic laws of logarithm that I've just recapped with you. You know, the four essential things that I told you just now. These questions will require your understanding and application of those laws of logarithm. So I'm going to tackle this in the next video. Meanwhile, you should try them first. Okay? Alright, I'll see you then.